Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I'll be having Chris's Televangelist TV show. And I want to tell you guys about the good love Jesus Christ who has provided so much for me. So much, so much. And before I even begin this episode, I, I need to tell you guys about this struggle we've been having down here at the church. You know, we've been having these bake sales and all these other things, but we just have been going through so much financial difficulties, right? Wait a second, I got a phone call coming in. Hello? Oh, hey, hey, Jim. Oh, no, I don't want the standard 2014 Mercedes Benz. I want the luxury model of it. Luxury. I don't care if it's extra $20,000. All right, thanks, bye. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Now, as I was telling you guys about the church's financial difficulties, I, you know, in, 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 in the Bible it says that if you donate to me, send in a hundred dollars, just a hundred dollars, and I will send you this holy water. This holy water right here has been curing people, has been curing people of all sorts of ailments. As soon as they checks cleared, their the ailments have went away. We don't need none of that medicine, all that modern day stuff, right? Now, oh snaps, sorry, hold on again, guys. Yeah, hey, what's up, Carl? You guys playing in the jacuzzi? <sighs> I wanted the the, the the one that was larger than the standard one and the one that had heated seats. Yeah. I don't care if it's an extra couple thousand dollars. Okay. Alright, thanks. Bye. Now, as I was saying about this church's financial difficulties, I want to show you how sincere I am. Now, if you call this number down here, 1 800 Jeebus Saves, you will receive this special. Holy water that will kill you all your ailments. Mm -hmm. Now, to show you how sincere I am in my preaching of the gospel, I will be handling snakes today. Now, I received this snake before I even, you know, touched this snake from the Princess Amunda. And just one milliliter of this snake's venom will kill 50 rhinoceros. I think it's 49, 50, something, something like that. And right now I'm touching it. You see? And it says in the Bible that those who are anointed by God, God, these snakes will do no harm to them, right? No harm. So, I'll, I'll, this is the mainstay of the, ep of, the, uh, of the episode. I fucking bit me! A motherfucking snake fucking bit me! Man, cut the fucking camera! All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment, but now I'm going to get into the real story. This pastor, who is a snake handling pastor, who's a Pentecostal, his name is Jamie Coots, who is on the TV show called Snake Salvation, which is pretty much a TV show on National Geographic that shows the story of various snake handling preachers throughout the country handle snakes um, as a part of their religion, right? Or as, or as a part of the way they teach their religion. The reason that this particular segment of Christian, or Christians do snake handling is because in the Bible it says somewhere that if you are anointed by God or if God is, if, or if you're like a, a, a Christian or something, pretty much if you're a Christian, then God has given you special powers to um, have 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 snake immunity so snakes won't bite you or if they do bite you they won't cause harm to you because you're you're part of jesus's uh fan club or whatever right and there's a tv show devoted about this and in many different state states or whatever this practice is actually banned now you guys are probably saying like why are you making fun of this guy he's dead you know you shouldn't laugh at him but the thing is this person had an organization or you know a, a church filled up with people who were just watching him watching him saying oh wow this guy's really sincere I, I wow he's handling snakes they're all poisonous and the, and they have kids there too and that's that's the worst part about it that probably pumps my blood more than anything is that the parents of the of the congregation take their children here and they they see this this buffoon on stage 
with five snakes in, in each hand, shaking them, talking in general, and speaking in tongues and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm not the I'm not a morality police. I'm not the type of person who says that, oh, you, you know, because you shouldn't show this because the kids might, you know, fuck some up or something. I, I, I'm not the type of person who's like, oh, at the Super Bowl when Janet Jackson's nipple came out. <gasps> oh, my gosh, the children are not going to be able to function now because they saw a nipple, but her boobs were almost out anyway. I, I'm not that I'm not the nipple police, but there are things in our society and things that children should not have to experience and these are one of them because what happens if one of these children who's like maybe let's say they're 10 years old right and their mommy and daddy has a snake in the house and they're like oh i'm a christian and i'm a, you know i'm part of god and i'm gonna go touch this snake and that child dies then what and 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 and, and that's what's scary and then when that child dies you know, the, either the government, the law enforcement police, or, you know, different uh, uh, organizations will say, hey, you know, what they're doing seems like child abuse and they should stop. That's unacceptable. Faith healing, you know, making it so your children cannot receive proper medical help is, is unacceptable. I, I mean, I know to me that that's just something that it's just common sense. But for a lot of these people, if, if you even call them out on something like that, then... They're, then you're attacking their religion. Oh, the damn atheists and the secularists and all these other anti or or non-Christian groups, whatever, are out to get us. And you know we're being oppressed. And even though we're seventy-six percent of the population, we're still oppressed and boohoo. But you know, even as an atheist and a humanist, I still feel that you know if someone wants to hold certain beliefs towards religion, whatever, then that's their right to do that. Just like it's my right to not believe or not accept a certain religion or whatever. That's my right. But when you put your, put either yourself in harm's way or put the lives of other people out in harm's way, then there's something wrong with that. I mean, it's, even though it's, it's still one thing to put yourself in harm's way, there's children in that church. These, these idiots don't know how to handle snakes. They, you know, they, they're like, hey, they, they probably dad or something like, just shake them like this. Ain't nothing going to happen. Ain't nothing going to happen. I mean, just a, a half a bottle cap of some of the most poisonous snakes on the planet. Just a half, a, a little a little smidgen of venom is able to kill you. And he had like 70-something poisonous snakes in his house. In his house, 70-something snakes. Probably another hundred or so at the church. Poisonous. One bite can kill you. I mean, and, and, and he was just shaking them around, doing whatever with them. And his son even said that he's been bitten nine times by poisonous snakes, which is sort of hard to believe because in, he said that his father never received medical help. And that the only time something bad happened or whatever was that when he got bit on his finger, he received to go to the hospital or he refused to go to the hospital. And his fingers just started rotting away. Like they, they showed pictures of it on this one uh, episode I was watching. I watched a couple clips and then an episode of it. And he showed his finger it's just it's rotting away, like bone showing, just fell off. And then now there's a nub there, never see, received any kind of medical help for it. And then he showed us the fucking finger, the, it's like black mold finger. And he just showed it like, look guys. <laughs> No one's got me though, and then and then, and that's just insane. Like I I understand that everyone has their own personal beliefs and religion, whatever. You know, I'm all. If if you choose to believe in you know, the the the, the purple elephant in the corner or whatever, then go right on ahead. As long as it doesn't affect you, other segments of your life. As long as you're able to function and be a a completely normal. Um, you know, human being in, in other segments of your life so it doesn't affect other people and you keep that nonsense away from children, I'm perfectly fine with it. But this is when religion causes harm. I mean, the, 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 the thought of him just being like, just there dying and he re re refusing the paramedics' help. I mean, th this is probably how it went down. They, they were, he, was, he was doing his usual routine, shaking the snakes, acting a fool. And then he got bit. It's like, oh, he started screaming or something. And everyone started saying, oh, my goodness, let's start praying, guys. Everyone probably got in the prayer circle, started praying. 
probably a 13, 14 year old girl in there, little girl, probably teenage or whatever, said, hey, mom, dad, he just got bit and he looks like he's not going to be okay. Should we call the paramedics? And they're like, oh, no, he'll be fine. We're praying. That's all. That's all he needs. And the girl's like, oh, gosh, these people are insane. She was probably dragged to church. And she was probably forced to go there or whatever, right? And she probably said, hey, let me go to the bathroom. Went, went in the bathroom, did the right thing, called the paramedics saying, yeah, it's the snake handling church. Yeah, turned right on that one street. And then, and then they got there, said, hey, we heard someone got a, sn- a, a bit by a poisonous snake. We're here to help. It's like, no, 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 we got Jesus on our side. Get away. Get away with that modern day medicine. And then within a couple hours or so, he died. And I'm not trying to joke around about someone's death because it's sad. It's it's sad when any when there's any loss of human life. But I, I th- this is the message for this video. For anyone out there, doesn't it doesn't even have to be snake handling. But if there's if if everyone around you has a negative belief that you know is not right and causes harm then be the one person that stands up and says hey I'm not cool with that I don't want to be a part of that you know we should rethink what we're doing here be that one person that, that that's a leader and not a follower and you know not all Christians or religious people are bad people I mean they, they do do a lot of things that are helpful to society I mean they volunteer at soup kitchens they open up shelters they there's a lot of positive things that come out of Christianity or religion in general but it's things like this that make religion look like it's from the dark ages man I mean there's some things that's cool to keep our tradition whatever okay but then there's some things that just need to go be or there needs to be left in the past and this is one of them and that's all I gotta say thanks for watching